Let's see, I was on there for three years, two weeks on dialysis. And then my brother gave me a kidney. Not this one, but my twin brother. It lasted for four years. And then 2018, September? I remember the day. September 7th, 2018, I went to the doctor and they told me it was failed. So, uh, yeah, I had to go back on dialysis. So, it's not the best story. I mean, I mean, some people might be like, oh my God, you know, but I mean, the, the real person I would have to say is like, no, no lie. Like, I can, I've never, I've only seen my mom cry one time, Thanks. one time in that whole situation. And that was when, I hope this isn't too graphic, but I thought I had my period when I was like uh, in my twenties, but it just wouldn't stop. It kept going for a month, like a whole month and a half. So I finally went to the doctor and they told me that like I was internally bleeding and that they didn't stop the blood, the bleeding, that you know, I would bleed out by Christmas. Well, it was already uh, October. Yeah, it was already like October. So I remember I went into the, it was the nastiest thing, but it was the only thing I could think to do. I just closed the door into the bathroom of the hospital and I was like, and I just had a conversation with God. And I was like, look here, like, Man, look, if you get me out of this one, I swear I won't do nothing bad. Uh, I'll stop cussing. Well, you know, I said I'll stop cussing. I need for a couple months, but uh, I'll go to church, I'll be this, I'll do that. Uh, and I came out to the room, and she tried to, she, you know, she tried to to choke it up, but it didn't work. I saw her cry. So that was the only time I ever seen her cry. And I had to give it to her. Like, I don't know too many, too many women that could just constantly keep going through the process and the process and the process and the process of it. Like always like getting a call like, hey, guess what? Yeah, my kidneys failed, but hey, guess what? Oh, now I'm sick. Oh, now I got pneumonia. Oh, this happened. Oh, I gotta do the surgery for this. Oh, my access not working. I gotta do the surgery next week. And like, I think for like three months I had to get a surgery like every two weeks. I don't know how she constantly kept just like doing it, but I would tell everybody it's like, that lady, she may not, she may not seem like she has a, a soft spot, but I'm like, no, nah, she got to. Definitely the strongest mental person I've ever met in my life. Fair. One of the strongest people I've met, so. Well, well, one of them. Yeah. Maybe too strong at times. What? Not for real.